Hands down his legal opinion saying public colleges cannot require students to get the COVID vaccine. He says the shot is not part of any state law that requires state college students to get it. On your side at six, Desiree Montilla speaks to the attorney general and has the latest reaction from VCU students. In his legal opinion, Attorney General Jason Yara says public universities can't mandate COVID-19 vaccines as a condition for a student's enrollment or in-person attendance, which he says comes down to a law. Section 23.1800 of the Virginia Code lists six very specific vaccines that you're required to take or required to have uh, prior to attending a Virginia four-year college. Virginia's Attorney General Jason Miares says the COVID vaccine is not on this list. There's a mechanism in place. The mechanism is you go through the General Assembly and you change the code of Virginia and you add it to that list of six vaccines that are already required under the law. I'm vaccinated. My whole family's vaccinated and I'm boosted and I'm very pro vaccine. Uh, but this isn't about what I think about the vaccine. This is just simply about what does the law say? Over the last several months, we've seen public universities in Virginia require the COVID vaccine for students, including VCU. A VCU spokesperson told us they're aware of the AG's legal opinion, saying in part, quote, we are reviewing the opinion to determine how it affects VCU students, particularly those students in hospital and clinical settings. I think everyone should take the vaccine. Because like if you don't, you can like cause other people to have COVID. VCU freshman Sarah Arabi believes the COVID vaccine should be a requirement, while other students say they should just do whatever they want. I mean, I, it's not going to affect me. But you can choose to make the world a better place and get your vaccine, or you can choose not to, and it's just, it's just all up to you. VCU is also one of the public colleges who recently dropped their vaccine mandate for employees following Governor Glenn Youngkin's executive order to rescind it for all state employees. On your side in Richmond, Desiree Montilla, NBC 12 News. All right, thank you, Desiree.